What a nice day, not a bit of wind, nice and bright, no rain. Um, we're heading up Dolan today, so for this one you just park on OTT or OTT, don't know what way you call it, but you park in the car park, OTT car park, over the road you'll see this side, yeah, and you'll find this lovely wee track. And I've never been this way before but I've seen it in a few videos. You just keep heading this track and see where Texas should go by. Uh, Loch Shanna, and then you'll go up into Dawn, and then you can see like all the moors laid out before you. It's pretty cool. Coming up to the first wee fork. Um, I don't know, the pink trail says this way, but I'm not sure what that is. We are all heading up that way. Having a clue, I think we're heading this way. Maybe that's to go up around the ridge, possibly. I'm not sure. We'll keep heading this way. See where it takes us. Yeah, a couple of paths here. Pretty warm today as well. Just head out. Okay, just heading on up the wee track here. You can see in the distance behind me there is uh, Fofani Dam or Fofani, whatever way you want to call it. Um, done a wee camp there with Stephen Reid a while back. I didn't record that one, but that's a good wee spot. Just going to carry on up here. A lot of rain in the last pile, so there's a lot of, a lot of groundwater sitting. See? A few pretty deep wee puddles. Yeah, you can see we've got a lovely wee stream here. It's coming down. It looks like we cross it here, I think. Not actually sure, I think we just keep heading up. Heading up this way. Yeah, I can see a bit of a path. And we'll just fall in this wee stream. All the way up, top. Yeah, we were just carrying up this uh, this trail. I think the other way was the actual main trail. We can come this way as well. It's just a bit more off road. So we carry up here. Oh dear, that was a brave old pull up. That it's a bit boggy up that bit. You can see uh, the section there. The path comes right round. And it starts to go off road a bit. There might be another path up there, but I can see the mooring wall. 
just up in front of us there. So we're just going to go up this style and take a wee break, take a wee breather. And we'll, we'll see where we go from there. As I say, it's the first time it's been up here. It's not actually sure. <laughs> Pretty nice, as you can see. Folks, here we are. You can see Dawn straight in front of us here. You can see Loch Shanna. You can see that wee small one's wee Binion. And then you've got Binion, where we were in the last video. And then the north top of Binion. And then looking straight ahead, you can see Donard. You can see Comoda. You've got Slave Burner. Big rocky bits. This side, um, you've got. Oh, let slip there. You've got Milmore, Milbeg. Um, the big one straight ahead of us is uh, Lamigan. So you can go two ways. You can head down this track. It takes you down to Ben Crom Reservoir and the Silent Valley Reservoir there, and you can go this way, which. Think takes you up this ridge line to Dawn. So for a relatively short hike up that, you can get right nearly into the heart of the morn for the views. Going the main path, you really wouldn't need to be super fit to get up that. There you go. So we'll just keep heading along this, this track here. And then it looks like we're going to take a right. Got up the top of the door and looks pretty steep to be fair.
foggy bit here. I think I mean, it's really hard to pick your way through this. As you can see. This looks like a better spot here. Whew. That is tight going. Up that we climb. <laughs> so we're nearly at the foot of it. Well, the whole thing's done, but the foot of the rocky bit. You can see right around some geese. Definitely one they open the lungs that one. Especially when I haven't been well for a week or two. Hard to get back into it. So for eating today, <laughs> got the normal um, mountain food, you can see there, got the noodles and the pepperami and the uh, cappuccino, that's all you need, keep it going. <coughs> yeah, definitely a nice, nice spot this one, you can see right around. So peaceful too as well.
getting off this mountain before this sun goes down. It's setting. An hour and a half. So it'll be grand. It's not that far back, to be honest. Sun goes down, the chill picks up brightly. So basically, we have to go down that path, follow the ridge line right up to the wall, down the back, back down to the car park. So we'll get motoring, get off this mountain before it gets too too cold and too dark. You see the sun in behind the clouds there. So we'll catch you on up the trail a bit as we get near back to the wall. Yeah, I don't know what's happening down there. It's like somebody's using a grinder at the car park. Strange. Yeah, so you can see the path. We ought to be heading this way. Make sure we get that, get back onto that path. Just have to watch because just wander off a bit and get away off the track. Take the cleaner right the route here. A lot of peak bog in this. Oh dear. Kind of just have to pick your way. Pick your way through. I'm nearly back at the car. I think I must be doing some work at this week car park. Yeah, pass a lot easier up this way. Here, back at the stone with the pink arrow. So follow the pink arrow. Don't follow the other way I went. This is the easier way. Well, as always, there's another wee trek done in the morns. If you liked it, give it a give it a thumbs up and give me a subscribe if you want to. And maybe next time we'll be back out with maybe Emma if we get her out for a trek. She hasn't been out for a while. And uh, maybe Jim as well. Maybe he'll come with me. And maybe do a come out as well. So, uh, till next time, all the best. Bye.